urgent plea has been made for the authorities to re-examine moves to enact a harmonized cooperative bill. A stalwart of the cooperative movement believes the pending legislation will spell the death knell for cooperatives and members. The Department of Cooperatives is moving full steam ahead to have St. Lucia in line with the rest of the OECS in implementing the Harmonized Cooperative Bill. This bill seeks to regulate the non-financial sector, that is, fishers, farmers, producers and transport groups. Horace Walter says those who drafted the bill seem to have no appreciation for what the cooperative movement is about. Bringing cooperatives under the control of the Ministry of Finance, he says, is a wrong move. Cooperatives are here to assist small people. And when small people save their money and it becomes big money, and then we try to control the big money because it's under the supervision of small people, we have a problem. And I would really like to ask the minister responsible for cooperatives, what is the rationale for the kinds of control and the separation that is intended in this new act? I would really like all cooperatives to come together to ask the questions. Because when we put credit unions under the Ministry of Finance and we leave fishermen and farmers under the control of a registrar, we have an issue there. Mr. Walters has called on cooperatives to take a keener interest in the matter and be more vocal. He underscored the fact that cooperatives function as a huge network that facilitates the growth and sustainability of cottage industries. He has called for attention to be given to the training of those who manage cooperatives. We do not have trained people in cooperatives. We have nobody in the apex organizations they're talking about to go out and sensitize the community on what a cooperative is and what it can do and it, what, what it should do. We need to train our people in the co-op department and let the co-op department continue to sensitize and instigate and, and, and push the development of cooperatives because we have seen what cooperatives have done over the years. We have seen what the credit unions have, have done. We've been around for many, many years and we know that these cooperatives and these credit unions started from scratch. And they've blossomed into big business, you know, and they are a threat, or maybe they've put a lot of pressure on the commercial banks. So I believe this new act is instigated because of the pressures. The Department of Cooperatives, aware of the issues raised by Mr. Walters, is encouraging all members of cooperatives to participate fully in the consultative process. Um, this exercise has been, is ongoing in the other OECS territories. Um, some are more, some are, some are at, at a more advanced stage than, than, than we are. So we are just doing our part to hopefully get, get our suggestions to the, the, to the drafters of the bill as soon as possible. We're hoping that this will not take away from the essence and, and the benefits derived from cooperatives, from, from, from cooperatives. So we are here now getting those, those comments and hoping that that we have a voice, that our voice is heard in the final preparation of the document. This was the second one-day consultation to be held by the Department of Cooperatives.